Laura Nativo is here. She's going to show us how we can make our own toys for our dogs and our kitty cats. And it's all out of recycled material. It is. Yeah. It is so great to build toys yourself. It's cheaper. Uh -huh. You know exactly what's going into the toys, so there's no chemicals or glues or anything like that. So it's safer. Yeah. And it helps the environment because we're going to use some things from around the house. You've got your old blue jeans, the bell bottoms that are out of style, and plastic bottles that we just learned in our game don't break right. down naturally. Yeah. So we're going to put them to, to use with our dogs and cats. All right. So, what did you bring with you today to try out uh, these toys? So, today with us, we have some kitty cats from Kitty Bungalow. They're up for adoption and they're so adorable down here. If you go to kittybungalow.org, you can Little learn kitty. how to adopt them. Hey. Oh, look how sweet. What's they're so on? cute. Here. So, they're going to. Demo our little kitty toys. Okay. And don't you have Preston and Delilah here today also? And of course, I got my two fur kids. I've got Preston Casanova. And Delilah Jane is demonstrating one of our toys over here with my friend Carissa. And she's well, been destroying the toys as I've been prepping for the yeah. segment. She's just been <laughs> going at it and having a great time. So. so, how do we make these toys, Laura? So, we'll start out with our cat toys. Okay. Now, how many of us have now, some Preston, leftover? Preston, you're not a cat. He's like, well, I could play with the cat toys because I'm okay. the size of a cat. <laughs> this is what this is. An, uh, this is what you're making. This little. Yeah. So these are made out of plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. We just took an X-Acto knife, and because Cut cats love hole. to forage for their food, this gives cats something to do. And we also have uh, some plastic Easter eggs that we're repurposing from Easter. Oh, look at there! So the just take cats. an X-Acto knife, cut a small hole in it, and they knock this around exactly. to try to get and the food out. Exactly, and they can out. bat out the food, or they can just kind of roll it around, oh, and that's cool. a lot of fun for your kids. All right. Next, next is. Next, what do we have here? This next. looks interesting. Did you cut up your blue jeans? I did. All By the way, bell bottoms jeans. can't be out of style. Really? Well, I still love my bell bottoms. One day out of the year, Halloween. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> so here we have our blue jean biters. These are fun little tug toys made out of recycled denim. And this is a really fun toy. They sell these in stores commercially. And you can make a durable toy using the leg of a piece of your jeans. And we're going to cut and sew a hem along one line. We braid the end and then we're gonna fray it. And then all we do is insert a plastic bottle, some Velcro right here, and we've got a really fun, Hell punchy yeah. toy that dogs love to touch. If you my jeans, tug. you'd have to put a liter bottle in there to even get it close <laughs> to filling up. A yeah, little skinny put a gallon pants. bottle yeah, in there. Huge. But you let, let me ask you, about, well. in the case of, let's say, Fred, let's say, and Delilah, they're very frisky and they get into everything. If we, could they open this up and then start chewing on the plastic? How, how do we make sure that the doggies don't eat the plastic that, and swallow it? That is a really good point. And to demonstrate why it's so important, I brought one of my demo toys from home that Delilah has pre-chewed. These are toys toys that you play with your dog. They're interactive toys. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that your pets are monitored um, because you never know what they might ingest and we want to make sure that there's no tummy obstruction. Right. So these are things that you play with your pet. Okay, so we have the denim over here. Now I see mm -hmm. over here you have some socks. Some socks. You can do the same thing as we did with the denim with a sock that you're going to put the plastic bottle in and use a knot and you can either tie some knots or you can braid it. And that's a great use for, you know you've got mismatched mm -hmm. socks, you only have one. So right. now you have something to do with the other one. Perfect. And next, what's oh, happening down and here? Down at the end, this is one of Delilah's favorite toys. This is a fleece tug that we're calling the T-shirt tug of war. You can use. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Ready? Just and go! Tug you of war. You can use old blankets, <laughs> or you can use some T-shirts that we've cut up. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make at home. Okay. If you hold that one sure. side, all we did was we took an old fleece blanket, we cut okay. it into three long strips. We took some tennis balls and then we put some holes. We used a drill bit, or you can actually use your X-Acto knife and, and cut out a through. hole. Let's see, Fred would chew all of that. He loves chewing that off. Can you use a different ball? Yes, Maybe. for dogs that like to eat the fleece off the tennis yeah. ball, which isn't good for them, you can use just a plastic ball, some type of squeaky ball would be Okay, fun. all right. And so and if you hold the ball. end, this is a team effort. I will sit. What if you don't know how to braid? I don't know how to braid. Uh, we could teach you how, you to, braid. How to braid. It's easy. Yeah. I'm sure Jesse okay. Jane could do a braiding yeah. tutorial. Yeah. Round and round. You but go. it's pretty simple. I'm a nerd and I know how to braid. So all I'm going to do I don't is know if you're a nerd. finish off my tug. And maybe if you could grab. Can we to, to hold it? Yeah. Are there any other okay. safety like precautions we should take when we're playing with our uh, pets with these toys? Definitely. You want to make sure that. You know the type of, of oh, sorry, toy drive that your pet has. So if you think that they're prone to 
maybe chew on something like the, the tennis ball, how Mark was saying Freddie might chew on it. You yeah. really want to make sure that when you're finished playing that the toys are hidden out of sight. You don't want to leave these unattended. And you want to use the same precaution with any type of toy that's not destructible if, you're, if your dog really likes to tug a lot. Yeah, look at there. So Look at that, you could do this end. with your bed sheets and crawl out of your window you and not? escape at night. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Where do you thing, live? Okay. Know. Well, you know, that's, right. that's well, what they used to do in the movies. I know. Yeah. Well, if you'd yeah. like more instructions on how to make Laura's yeah. Recycle DIY pet toys, you can go to our home and family website at lauranativo.com. And if you would like to adopt one of the cats here today, you can go to kittybungalow.org.